For me, Pete is a great character because it, it gives you a lot to do as an actor. Like in this, for instance, when we're on the victory tour, you know, I have to pretend like I'm in love with Katniss and, or pretend like Katniss is in love with me and, and, and everything's fine and happy, when in reality, uh, you know, it's actually really hard for Pete. So it's, it's nice as an actor to get to play those kind of double sort of life type things and that's, uh, that's what's kind of going on in this. But no, as an actor, it's, it's really, really great to play Pete. It's been great. It's cool to have like our core group, but then also have these new additions coming in. And, and honestly, like they've slipped in like seamlessly, especially Sam. Like Sam, Sam and I really get along well and really hit it off. We've been playing a lot of soccer together, and and uh, it's been really nice to have some some new people around. It's been great. And Philip Seymour Hoffman. I mean, obviously, you know, one of the most amazing actors alive. So just being on set watching him uh, was honestly like an acting class. It was incredible. It picks up a few months after uh, we just won the Hunger Games, uh, and we're about to go on our victory tour, which is where we have to go to each of the different districts and basically celebrate and, and say that, you know, it's great to be a part of the Capitol and all this stuff, uh, which is really hard for us, especially, you know, for me and Katniss, because we're being paraded around against our will, and, and it's, it's pretty awful. But uh, our lives since the games, uh, we, we're trying to kind of get back into our old routine of things, uh, but it's very different, you know, living in Victor's Village is different. Uh, as well as just the kind of notoriety and, and just the fact you have to kind of go back to your home life after being in such a brutal kind of tumultuous kind of world. It's, 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 it's a big transition for sure. Francis is, he's honestly amazing. He's a genius. He really, what's amazing about him is he's so he knows the answer to every question you have. Like he's always so prepared and, and, and he's very collaborative and anytime you have an idea, he's always like, let's try it. He always has a smile on his face. He knows what he wants, but at the same time, he is willing to you know, work with you if you have a different idea about things. Um, and the scope of the film is just so much bigger this time around. And I think that he's really put so much attention to detail in so many different little areas that, that matter a lot to me. And a lot, a, lot of, a lot of audience members, I think, will really pick up on them as well. I think that one of the big one of the big themes in Catching Fire is uh, is when there's something kind of going on that you can you can make the world a better place. It, it's sort of I feel like a bit of an obligation to do that, um, and that's one thing that Katniss really struggles with is is rising up to to fill the shoes of, of being this hero and of being this symbol. It's something that she she doesn't really want to do because she doesn't want to stir the pot and she wants to kind of sit back and let somebody else handle it. But you know, kind of rising up when that moment comes, I think, is a big theme in this movie.